Hello and welcome back to the course on deep learning. Today we're talking about deep belief networks. So what is a deep belief network? Well, a deep belief network comes to be if you stack on top of each other several restricted Boltzmann machines or RBMs. So here you can see the first RBM, you can see the second RBM, the third RBM. So basically the outputs or the hidden layer of the first RBM is the input of the second RBM and then a uh, hidden layer of the second RBM is the input of the third RBM. And in a, a deep belief network, so you've stacked up these RBMs and then also another thing that happens is you make sure that your directionality is in place for all of the layers except for the first uh, top two. So basically you make sure that these layers, layers one, two, and three, are the connections between them, they're directed and they're directed downwards, uh, whereas there's no direction in the top layers. The, it's quite hard to explain what's going on here because this is a very complex, a very advanced type of uh, network. We'll just say that this is the network, the, these deep uh, belief networks, is what revived the interest in deep learning in the 2000s. This uh, coming up when Hinton and his team, as far as I know, it was Hinton and his team who came up with these deep belief networks. Uh, when that happened, that's when the whole interest in uh, deep learning uh, got revived. And the other thing that we'll mention here is that there's two types of training. So there'll be quite a bit of additional reading which you can do to really familiarize yourself with deep belief networks and, and how they use and what, uh, what kind of uh, mathematics are behind them. But in terms of training, there's two types of algorithms that you'll come across. Uh, there's a greedy layer-wise training algorithm, which basically trains these RBNs. Uh, so you the directionality, you set it up after you've uh, trained up the weight. So first you train the restricted Boltzmann machines, RBMs, with, uh, with the undirected connections. And the greedy layer-wise training is you train this layer, you train this layer, you train this layer. So you train them layer by layer as RBMs. And then there's also the wake-sleep algorithm. That's another thing you should look out for in the papers you're going to be reading. Uh, the wake-sleep algorithm is basically you train all the way up, then you train all the way down. So your connections, they're awake. The, uh, the ones that are going up are awake. Uh, the ones uh, that are going down are asleep, and then the other way around. That's where the wake-sleep term comes from. So basically, that's how it works. You stack up RBMs, you train them up, then you, once you've got the weights, you make sure that these connections only work downwards. And that's pretty much it. And um, unfortunately, we won't go into too much detail on this because this is a very, very advanced topic. I just wanted to make sure that you are familiar with what a deep belief network looks like and what it uh, entails. If you ever do need to come across, if you ever do need to use it in practice, you inevitably will have to design your own and therefore you will have to do some research and do some, uh, read some papers and um, understand the design that goes into into it. And that is, uh, that is just going beyond the scope of these intuition tutorials. But nevertheless, we're going to give you some additional things you can look into. So uh, the greedy layer wise training of deep belief networks. You can find it in this article over here by Yoshio Benjer and others. Well, actually, this article is very popular. It's been cited over 2,000 times. But the article that we mentioned in the previous tutorial by Hinton, where we were talking about how the training of an RBM happens, well, that article actually also has, that's where the greedy layer wise is described before uh, it was used in Benjo's article. So then that article by Hinton was cited like over 5,000 times. So make sure to check out that article first if you haven't yet, uh, or that paper first, and then move on to this paper by Benjo. And here they explore the whole concept of greedy layer-wise training further, and uh, they understand you know, how how it enhances the training, how it makes things uh, makes things faster and, and like they just basically test it. I think it's an empirical test of the greedy layer wise training. And so if you do want to get into DBNs more, then those two articles, will, those two papers will help you get uh, actually do exactly that. And uh, also in addition, you'll learn about this greedy layer wise training and how it's happening. Another one is uh, the wake sleep algorithm by Hinton. So it's another por popular article. This was oh, another popular paper. Uh, this one was uh, written in uh, or published in 1995. 
and this one is talking about the wake slip algorithm so again if you feel that you need to get into dbns and it's use something that you need for your work or something you need for a project or you want to explore further these are the three papers that uh, are a good start to get you into the world of deep belief networks now make sure to check out these videos on the right or the full course in the description to continue your learning and i look forward to seeing you there